me back again. Mm. So I just wanted to show you lot the proof and the evidence of when you get yourself a skill, when you get yourself a trade, when you get yourself an education and people want to pay you some Ross Clark money because you're useful to the world, how much you can get paid. Now, I'm a qualified inspector and tester. I started off as an electrician, then I done the inspection and testing course. And I just want to run through how much you can be getting paid as a contractor and that. Ir irrespective of your trade and that, you know, there's people who are IT engineers. I know a man who's got a business degree who does some sort of like project management to do with banks and that he gets £500 a day. So his numbers are going to be greater than mine. Um, and that's, that's just him on his normal day rate. If he's doing overtime and that, whatever, bonuses and that, he's going to get paid more. So I've got about five, maybe six invoices to just quickly run through. I'm just going to tell you about the job that I worked on and, yeah. So this one here is the first week back from the Christmas holidays in 2020, or second week back actually, Christmas holidays 2020. So this is just before COVID lockdown. And as you see the date, it says the 12th of January 2020. Obviously, you see my name, Jelani Nye. Obviously, I've blanked out the company I was working for. Not that I think it fucking matters anyway. This is just a weekly payment. This is how much I got paid per week. Yeah? Not per month, not per year. This is how much I was getting per week. So, obviously, as you can see in the top right-hand corner, um, I got paid like 729. Um, then I had to pay 571 in tax because the CIS contribution is 20%. Then I was doing some overtime. So the standard rate was 729. Then I done overtime, I got paid £546. Then again, I done like the standard rate. I, I can't even remember how this thing actually works, but I'm telling you, this was just one week's pay. Yeah, look at the fucking money, £2,284. Obviously, man was working Monday to Friday, 8am to 8pm, sometimes 10pm, and then Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday to Sunday, Monday to Sunday, Monday to Sunday. So this is the infamous Holborn job, man, keep banging on about, yeah? Any lot have been watching me for long enough, you know I keep banging on and mentioning this infamous Holborn job. So this is it. These times, man, was 27 years old. Right, on to the next one. Uh, again, I was still working for the same company at the infamous Holborn job. I don't know why this one's laid out a bit different, but again, uh, this is, yeah, the week, it looks like this is the week leading up to Christmas because it's the 22nd of December, 2019, so three days before Christmas. I got paid 2019. This is in one week, yeah? Not a month, not a year, this is one week. The amount of tax I had to pay was £504 in tax. I said, man was banging out the hours, yeah? I wasn't just doing the standard nine to five, oh, time on, off on the weekend. Nah, no, fam. I was knocking out the hours, yeah? Next one. Right, so this one's an old one, uh, but much older. This was in 2018. So these times, I started working at the Tottenham Stadium in 2018, I think August maybe end of July, but definitely beginning of August. And this was probably the first pay packet I got, or second pay packet I got. So this is between, it's really small, it's hard to see, but this starts off at the 6th of August 2018 to the 12th of August 2018. And it's basically seven days. The 6th, the 7th, the 8th, the 9th, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, that's seven days. I got paid £1,809. I remember working at that Tottenham job. So, so this, is, this is how much I take home, yeah? The, the, the gross total was £2,264.78. But this is how much I took home, yeah? As you can see in the top right-hand corner, like there's deductions there of 452 It says tax. That's the CIS tax I've got deducted, which is about 20%. <coughs> On this job, I was working from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., uh, Monday to Friday, and then 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, Sunday. Now, the reason why I was getting paid less than the other job is because I was on a lower rate. 
let's say my, my, my base rate was £22 or £24, something like that. At the Holborn job, I was getting paid like £26 per hour. And right that little two, three pound, four pound extra, when you start adding up and you're adding 80 units and that, it, it makes a big fucking difference. So on to the next one. Right, next one. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I started in July of 2018. Uh, so the previous one you just saw, that wage, that, that pay slip was after this one. So this is probably the first ever pay slip I got working at the Tottenham, the Tottenham job. So let's say I probably started on the 23rd of July 2018. I got paid £1,601 for one week's work. Again, probably was doing the 8 to 10, probably 8 to 8 or whatever. On to the next one. Right, I'm back to the infamous Holborn job here. Um, no. No, I was not working at the infamous Holborn job here. At this one here, I was working at Alexandra Palace because I started working at the Holborn job in August of 2019. Well, this is November 2018. So, um, yeah, I was, I was working at the Alexandra Palace job. And, um, yeah, I, I was just knocking out the hours and, uh, you know what I'm saying, doing the eights to tens, working Saturdays and Sundays and that. Uh, and it's just funny. There was a guy there moaning and complaining because when I came there, I came with some other people. I didn't know them, but I started at the same time as some other people. And the rate that we was getting paid was £25. There was an electrician that was there before us, an uh, electrical tester that was there before us, doing the exact same work, same hours as us. He was getting paid £22. And he was moaning that, oh, some new guys are coming, they're getting paid more. And, and I'm like, yeah, fair enough. I hear what you're saying. We're getting paid more than you, but this is what you signed up to. You know what I'm trying to say, isn't it? Yeah, if you didn't think the rate was good enough, you shouldn't have signed up to it in the first place. Anyway, this guy was moaning and complaining. It looked like he went to fucking cry, blood. Funny enough, he was the first electrical tester on the job. The new people that came after him that were getting paid more than him, like myself, they got rid of us, and this guy was there till the end. I was still in the group chat that they created whilst we was on site. This guy was getting paid to work till midnight, you know. He's, he's um, sending us pictures in the group chat like, you're right, boys, I'm doing some overtime, drinking cups of tea. Yeah? So he's moaning and complaining that, oh, people have come after him and that and getting paid more. But blood, you're there. You're, you're the last man standing. When we get laid off, we're probably going to be out of work for a week, two weeks. Yeah, we probably think, ah, you know what, uh, just take a week, two weeks, three weeks off or whatever, take a month off and earn enough money. We're going to be out of work for about a week and a half to three, four weeks and that. In that time, this guy's doing some crazy overtime, probably taking home. If he's working till midnight and that, because remember, you get like double pay, time and a half and them things there or whatever. This guy was probably making the 2,500, yeah? So sometimes you, know, you shouldn't moan, yeah, because you don't know what's around the next corner. And obviously I get, you know what I'm trying to say, like, some people come after you and they get paid more than you. It is what it is. I had that at the Tottenham job. I didn't give a shit. They had some guys come. They were getting paid £30 an hour. Oh, was they getting £36 or £30 per hour? They was getting £360 a day. Yeah, they was getting paid £30 per hour and they had to do 12-hour shifts. These guys only had their level two electrical installation. All of them, all their tools are all new and that. Them and their, they probably didn't know what the fuck they were doing. But for some reason... Uh, they just hired them. I don't know where the fuck they got these guys from, minute, But um, I'm running out of time, so I need to keep this below the 10 minute mark. So let's carry on. Uh, yeah, this is the last one. So this is the biggest paycheck, pay packet I've ever received in my life. Yeah, as you can see, I got paid two thousand four hundred and thirty pound. I was just doing some mad fucking hours. I don't. <sighs> I'm trying to think to myself, like, obviously, I got paid this in, uh, on, on the 19th of January 2020. I'm trying to think, like, maybe they must have backdated me some money or something like that. Or I know, obviously, do you know what? No, I was just doing some mad hours. And I, sorry, not backdating me some money. Basically, I done some, uh, I came in on the Christmas shift. And basically, I done three Christmas shifts, yeah? Like three, I came into three days over the Christmas period and I got paid £700 per day. 
So I don't know, maybe may, maybe this carried over or something like that, but this was the biggest amount of money. This is the highest paycheck I've ever got as a contractor. £2,430. Stay with us. Done, man.